Hey, Granada. Hey, it's good to, good you came by, young Jeff Reitz. Hey, not too many people I speak to these days in this uh, big old house here. It's good of you to come by. Well, I slept through like a try. <laughs> the door's always open. Is it? The only reason I'm inside now is because I turned up. I kept calling you. I've been calling you for years to try and come over. I haven't been here in such a long time. It's, how long has it been? It's been you must have been a, no more than a tot when, a, when you last stayed over. Yeah, I was, I was six. And of course I've seen you at family gatherings and what have you. I mean, yeah, but it was since Grandma passed away. I mean, I, I don't see you. I guess she was a lot of my reason to get up and go. So, you know, I, I don't know. That could be part of it. I mean, we're not the sort of family to put you in a home, you know. <laughs> we won't take you away from here. Oh, I was never too worried about that. Don't you worry. Well, that, yeah, I suppose that's uh, that's a good thing. Um, this feels a bit rude, but... um. One of the main reasons I've um, come. Obviously, it's good to see you. And you yourself, dear boy. But one of the main reasons is. Um, do you still have that grandfather clock? <laughs> the grandfather clock? Yeah. And it's, it's a huge house, you know. There's a, there's a few. The mahogany one. The the, yeah, the the one that sits in the great hall, just yeah, just just past the scullery, you know that that one. I mean, so it, um, it has a, it's covered now. It hasn't worked for several years. It's just sat there, covered with a paint paint sheet. I've had someone come and look at it, but they could never get it to work again after it stopped. It's no rhyme or reason. It just stopped, I guess. Just um, got old as things do. <laughs> um, I can't stop thinking about it. I can't think why. It's just a clock. Is it? Of course it is. It sits there. It well, doesn't tick anymore, but it would tick and go bong on the hour as clocks do. It keeps me up at night. <laughs> I, no, I, know, I know it sounds... Almost obscene, but it does. For just, years, I can't shake it. And everyone has nightmares on occasion. It's, this isn't occasional. It's every night. Oh, uh, perhaps you should be seeing one of those was it, sleep therapist things. I've heard they did, they did wonders for your mother when she had nightmares as a child. <laughs> I've spoken to Mom in a long time. To be honest. I talk to you more on the phone than I've talked to her in the past. In a, ever, to be honest. Well, after her turn, that makes sense. It's sad, of course, but... I, I don't blame you for that. None of us do. She did make things difficult. I, I, I apologise for that. There's no need to. She just, um... Yeah. Mum was mum. But, um... The clock, um, I see a woman. A woman, you say? Yeah, not in that way. She's, um, did you ever know a woman called Agatha? I've known a few Agathas in my time. I've lived a fair while, and Agatha's a... Black hair, green eyes. Agatha. There was someone that fits that description I knew very briefly. I say briefly, it was only a matter of maybe two, three months. But that was well before your time, and this was before your mother's time even, so I don't know what that has to do with anything. What does it have to do with anything? Why do I know her? You've never spoken about her before. I'm, I guess I, I must. Mom have, never spoke about her. I must have mentioned it somehow, written it somewhere for you to know that name. 
There's no other way. Why do I know what she looks like? I want to see the clock. I don't see why not. I mean, it's just just down here, I guess. Oh, sorry, old bones aren't what they yeah, used to be. Oh, thank you, thank you, dear boy. Here we go. All right. I haven't uncovered it in so long. I have. I'll take it. I'll take it down. <coughs> I should have got it dusted before I took that off. There you are. That's exactly how I remember it. Well, it hasn't moved in several years, so That's of course. What I mean, I mean, like time hasn't touched it. Well, I suppose in a way it hasn't. It hasn't ticked for several years, so that is a fair statement. You said you had a clocksmith come and look at it. Well, I'd someone come look at it, yes. When was that? Oh, and what it be? Not long after it stopped working, I guess. But yeah, once. Yeah, I think it's because in my dream I see um I see a latch. This one. Oh yes. <coughs> I can't think why the the fella who came round didn't think to do that. It seems to have been quite simple. <laughs> she said. There's a knack to it. Well, there's a knack to everything, I suppose. I shouldn't know this. No. Am I seeing... Is one seeing real? This is peculiar, but... Granddad, I need to ask you something. Of course. Oh, who was she? I always thought there was something peculiar about this clock, but... When it stopped ticking, all my fears of it went away, so... I mean, of course I had it covered, and I never really thought... Granddad, of... don't pretend to be senile. I know you're sharper than that. Who was she? Agatha. Black hair, green eyes, you say. Yes. Was a sleek... Narrow face, quite long. Yes. Eyebrows so thin you feel they would cut themselves by raising. Yes. It's not... I have a... I don't know why I kept it. It was such a fleeting... Fleeting meeting, but... Is that her, that, that photo? Yes. But, uh, Why do I know what she looks like? We met... As you know, I was in the war. In my youth. You know, just children carted off to war as we were. Didn't know anything. Could barely tie on shoelaces without assistance. And there we were, sent off to fight for the great battle. And as you know, I got injured. That's how I've got my bum leg. And I ended up in the war hospital. That's where I met Agatha. Agatha Cartwright was, was her name. Lovely Irish lass. Which Cartwright. Was With a K, not a C. I mean, you've never used that accent before, boy. Not, not a bad attempt, but... Uh, yeah, unusually kind of character, facially characteristic. Not usually often you see Irish with her physicality and description, but there she was. And, uh, but yeah, we met, and she was the one who tended to my wounds. You see, that's that's how I met her. How do you have a clock? Well, I, I, so long ago, I guess she must have left it to me. I guess I can't quite remember. I mean, she didn't have any family, so she said. I, I believe her father was also drafted, and her mother 
died of illness and she had no family to speak of. If she had no family to speak of. How did you end up with a clock? Yeah, like I said, she must have, I don't know. When she, uh, when she passed, which unfortunately wasn't too long after I met her, you see, she must have gifted it, I suppose. I don't understand. How could she gift you this from the middle of the battlegrounds in Europe? And then somehow, here we are in your house all these years later with this clock. Well, I mean, of course. I mean, that must have been a pretty specific note or whatever description she gave you for you to be able to go to her house after the war and get this. I'm sorry. I mean, granddad, but I, I don't buy that. We had a, a, a brief but quite intimate connection, I suppose you might say. We, I mean, it was very close to the end of the war, and we didn't know when it was going to end, but we thought when I was all better, we might, you know, run away together, which, of course, my, my family would never have approved of with my upbringing, you know. The church always comes first and all that, but we were going to do it. And But then, after I was discharged, mere moments it seemed. The armistice was signed and we spent about a week together before the unfortunate accident. How did you get the clock? A week after. There's peacetime. The Treaty of Versailles. How did you get this clock? She... They were wills written, because in that time, no one knew when they were... Oh, don't give me that. I know the bureaucracy was worse then than it is now. A will? I don't buy that for a second. Why do I know her? I know what she looks like, even before you show me that photo. I shouldn't know this. I know how this clock works, which means that she's real. Of course... Uh, of, co of course she's real. No. But she comes to me at night. Uh, it doesn't make any sense. It's illogical. I've always thought something was strange about this clock. This, it may sound st stupid, insane even. I always thought it was just my old PTSD brain going crazy from shell shock. But I always thought... The mouse ran up to the the clock struck one. The mouse. The ticking of the clock. Of no. Course. You, you got it working. Beyond the tick and the talk of this damn clock, can you hear her, Gerald? Hickory, dickory, dock. The mouse ran. No, I cannot hear anything beyond the clock and your voice. What are you getting at? Put it down, Gerald. Every night. She says, put it down. Put what down? I don't know. You know. What? What happened? There was an accident. I told you that. An accident? Of course it was. If everything else she's told me is real, then I don't believe it was an accident. And what else I has need she... some understanding of what's going on because I'm losing my mind. What else has she told you? Put, put it, it down, down Gerald. Gerald. Is that all she says? She says, what? I always thought that a piece of her soul clung to this clock. Hickory, dickory, dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. The mouse fell down. Hickory, dickory, dock. Put it down, Gerald. And I... Accident. I never meant for that to happen. What happened? Put it down, down Gerald. I mean, yet she might have been retired when when the accident happened. She might have been. I mean, it, I, it was only a week. We don't know, but put, put it, it down, down Gerald. I, I know my family would never have approved. We would have. What did you do? There was an accident. I told you that. Put, Put it down, down Gerald. Gerald. 
did not know the rifle was loaded. How? How could you not know? I hadn't touched it since I'd been sent to my to the nursing hospital, and I never thought to check it. I hadn't touched it in, mu- in months. I did not know it was loaded. It was an accident. Put it down, Gerald. Put what down? Exactly. Tell me. What happened? Put it down, Gerald. Agatha? I need to make sense of this. Agatha, I'm... Enough, Agatha. Put it down, Gerald. Tell me. I made my peace years ago, or so I thought. It's enough. Did you do it? Did I, did I do what? Put it down, Joe. Put... What? Down! Did you do it? Did I do what? Put it down, Joe. Put what down? Tell me what happened. Put it down, Gerald. Put what down? Put what down? I might have gone to her place after the after the accident, and I might have taken the clock. I was drawn to it, and ever since I brought it here, I've never been able to face that clock again. That's why I covered it up. Put it down, Gerald. Granddad. <sighs> 